and Ethelwulf was born in the early 9th century, most likely around the year 800. He was the son of King Egbert, who ruled the Kingdom of Wessex in southern England. Not much is known about her Ethelwulf's early life, but it is believed that he may have played a role in his father's wars against the Mercians and the Welsh. Her Ethelwulf became King of Wessex in 839, upon his father's death. He was not the eldest son, but he inherited the throne after his older brothers died. Her Ethelwulf faced several challenges during his reign, including Viking invasions and internal rebellions. One of Ethelwulf's major accomplishments as king was the defeat of the Viking army at the Battle of Aclay in 851. The victory was significant in that it marked the first time that a Viking army had been defeated in England. Ethelwulf also made several alliances with neighboring kingdoms to help defend against Viking attacks. In addition to Viking attacks, Ethelwulf also faced several internal rebellions during his reign. The most notable of these was a rebellion led by his son Ethelbald, who challenged his father's authority and attempted to seize the throne. Ethelwulf married Judith, daughter of the Frankish king Charles the Bald, in 856. The marriage was seen as a significant diplomatic achievement, as it helped to strengthen ties between Wessex and the Frankish Empire. Ethelwulf and Judith had several children together, including his heir, Ethelbald. Ethelwulf was a devout Christian and made several pilgrimages to Rome. He also made significant donations to the church and established a bishopric in Sherborne. Ethelwulf is known to have been a wise and just ruler, and he was well regarded by his subjects. He was also known for his generosity and kindness, and was said to have given away much of his wealth to the poor. In 853, Ethelwulf granted a charter to the city of London, which secured its status as a major trading centre. The charter granted the citizens of London certain rights and privileges, and helped to spur the growth of the city. Ethelwulf reorganized the Wessex government and established a system of administrative units known as shires. The shires were responsible for collecting taxes and maintaining law and order, and they helped to establish a more centralized and efficient system of governance in Wessex. He also introduced a new legal code known as the Doom Book. The Doom Book was a set of laws and penalties designed to ensure justice and maintain order in Wessex. It included provisions for the protection of widows and orphans, and set out guidelines for the payment of fines and compensation. Ethelwulf was also known for his patronage of the arts and culture. He was a supporter of the church and the monastic communities, and he helped to promote the production of illuminated manuscripts and other works of art. Ethelwulf died in 858 and was succeeded by his son Ethelbald. Ethelwulf's death was followed by a period of political instability and infighting among his descendants, which would eventually be resolved with the accession of his grandson, Alfred the Great. King Ethelwulf's reign marked the beginning of the Golden Age of Wessex, which would continue under his descendants. His reign saw significant achievements in terms of military, political, and cultural developments, and his legacy would shape the course of English history for centuries to come. He was buried in Winchester, which was the capital of Wessex and a major religious center. His tomb was located in the Old Minster, which was the principal church in Winchester at the time. Ethelwulf's legacy would continue to shape English history long after his death. The administrative system that he established in Wessex would eventually become the basis for the English system of government, and his efforts to promote Christianity and education would have a lasting impact on English culture and society. Today, Ethelwulf is remembered as one of the most important kings of the Anglo-Saxon period. His reign marked a time of significant change and development in England, and his legacy continues to be celebrated in literature, art, and popular culture.